Hello singers, I'm Sophie Shear. Today we are talking about a very interesting muscular issue that can totally make or break your tone quality. Okay, instead of a breathy or wimpy kind of, uh, I don't know, very wispy tone quality, most singers nowadays are after something strong, direct, powerful, okay? The difference would be like, oh, say can you see, okay, and the rocket's reckless. Okay, first of all, I'm running out of breath because it's gone quickly. Second of all, it just doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound like I am in command of my instrument. All right, so this is most likely boiling down to a muscular issue in your voice. The vocal cord muscles have to snap together in order to create sound. There are a wide variety of reasons why they would not be doing this. Some a little less serious, like you're tired, you have allergies, it's a certain day of the month, who knows? Something a little more serious would be like vocal damage, nerve damage, you have a growth like a nodule or a polyp or something like that. Okay, now it is possible to diagnose vocal damage, but of course we'd have to sit in the same room with you and hear your voice. Okay, let's try an exercise though that's gonna help to strengthen those tiny little muscles that are responsible for all of that sound. These tiny edge muscles, so your vocal cords are here and the very inner edge of the muscle is the first thing to connect. It's the first thing to touch. Most singers completely are unaware that there's different kind of thickness layers of their vocal cord muscles. And as a result, most singers never study the very inner edges of their muscle. So every time they do get a connection, if they do get a connection, it's very forceful. It's like, it, it's either nothing, or it's, it's like, oh, okay. And it's not very consistent or, or, or you can't really do much with it. So we're gonna focus on just the very inner edge edges of the muscle here. And in order to do that, we're gonna make very, very small sounds. Try uh, emulating the count from Sesame Street. It's kind of like when he goes, one, ah, 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 two, ah, ah, ah. The very tiniest motions here, not a lot of volume, but they're very crisp connections, okay? Uh, you can try to bounce your stomach here. If you're getting ha, 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 then get rid of the H altogether. Almost feel like you're holding your breath. In a way, you'll feel like the air is going the opposite direction. It's coming in versus going out. It's not actually happening, but it kind of feels that way. Uh, 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 and the stomach bounces uh, 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 to help with that motion. So try this on like an octave scale. Don't let it last very long. You want a very staccato sound here. Uh, 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 uh. You notice too how I'm not going too loud. Uh, uh, uh. That's too forceful. Uh, 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 uh. I only want the vocal cords to work here. Nothing else on the outside of the neck. Uh, 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 uh. Then try taking this exercise and putting it into the melody of your song, getting rid of the lyrics for now. So, uh, 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 and then especially your higher sections. Then we're gonna add a little more volume here. Okay, the very inner edges are what's responsible for this sound. Now we're gonna roll through the muscle, add a little more compression, and kind of get a thicker sound based on that amazing foundation that we've just built. You can add a G to this to really get more muscle involved. So, go, go, go. And then add more full volume here by kind of pushing down on the stomach muscles at the same time as your sound is coming out. So, go, 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 ha, 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 go, 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 And then you add the lyrics and you're done. And the rocket's red glare. Then you smooth them out to make them more palatable. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was 
is still there and I don't need as much pressure on the bottom notes. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe here so you can get all the new material and follow me on Twitter and like the Sophie Sheer Vocal Studios Facebook page. Hello singers, I'm Sophie Shear, and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs>